Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami from Civil Engineers and today I'm gonna talk about steel structure drawing for plinth beam that's why I'm recording today steel structure drawing for plinth beam because many civil engineering students they were asking about this topic that sir upload some videos about steel structure drawing for plinth beam so this is my first video steel structure drawing for plinth beam right so if this video is helpful for you so must like the video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates but i will tell you that it's very important how to read plinth beam steel structure drawing and here are some more information about plinth beam right so let's start guys you can see here this is the long section of plinth beam in this steel structure drawing so from this point to this one this is the clear length of plinth beam in this long section this is the total length of plinth beam or clear length it's called okay here these are supports supports means these are rcc columns this one column this is also the section of rcc column these are supports this is the clear length of plinth beam now here are some also uh, some sections about its reinforcement details especially for this long section i will also discuss with this long section let's start guys if you see here is rcc column this is rcc column support so near its support its terp spacing is closely with each other which is l by 4 with the length of l by 4 its stirrup spacing is closely with each other that's why because here are shear stresses right it's making hogging so therefore it should be closely near its support okay so here also in this section you can see l by 4 from this to this one point its uh, its stirrups are closely with each other so this is 0 1 0 1 section so I will also discuss at 0101 section. This is the section for this one and also for this one because this is the one section for these two. And here is 02 section and this is also 02 section. This is the other section for 0202 section. I will also discuss about its stirrups detail. Guys, look at this. This is the mark which you can see. Let me focus the camera. It will be clear for you. Okay. So 0202 section. You can see the dia of the stirrup is three number dia is used in this stirrup okay Just, the camera is out of focus it's okay now so the dia is three uh, three number dia is used in this stirrup in 0202 section at the mid which is more space so 3 by 8 inches dia is used in this stirrup which spacing is spacing between two stirrup is 8 inches so 8 inches center to center distance between two stirrups are spacing between two stirrups at the mid after the l by 4 length okay from this point from this one okay and also from this point it's 8 inches this is also 8 inches till to this point okay now we have the other i will also discuss it section so this is section for 0202 section you can see especially for this one right so you can see guys here here are five uh, first of all we have total numbers of steel bar eight steel bars we have so one two three four five six seven eight number of steel used here so first of all i will also tell you size of column uh, sorry size of plinth beam this is 18 inches sorry six, uh, yes 18 inches and this is 10 inches same like this one okay it's same but i have uh, I, I did not take the dimension so therefore i'm sorry for that okay it's same like this because this is the one long section for both i have to take right now five number dia is used in longitudinal bars so the dia is 5 number 5 by 8 inches is the dia of longitudinal bars in this long section for plinth beam right this is dia and 8 numbers of steel bars i have already discussed 1 2 3 3 at the top 3 at the bottom and 3 at the mid right now here you can see this point so here 
you can see this is stirrups and long section this is stirrup okay so the stirrup dia is 3 3 number dia used in the stirrup so 3 by 8 inches dia which spacing is 8 inches center to center you can see here the dia of stirrup is 3 divided by 8 inches so 3 number dia used in this stirrups at the 0 to 0 to section which spacing is 8 inches so here you can see it's 8 inches so this section is being clear in this long section right now come to the second section 0 to 0 to section which is near its support l by 4 length total length divided by 4 so it will give us l by 4 length this one in this the stirrups should be closely with each other as you can see here in this long section so now dia of the stirrup is same like 0 to 0 to section which is 3 number dia used in this stirrup 3 by 8 inches is the dia of stirrup at the rate 4 inches its spacing is 4 inches guys it's 4 inches right same like this one here is also same now I will also discuss its section 0 1 0 1 section for this for these two so now you can see this this is size six uh, one feet and six inches mean 18 inches by 10 inches same like this one but the section is changed this is specially for this one zero one zero one section right now here you can see dia of the steel is same because this is one long section one plane beam okay so the dia is same five number dia is used here five divided by eight 8 inches is the dia of the steel bars and total numbers of steel bars are used here 8 numbers because just the sections are changed for the stirrups not for longitudinal bars so therefore you can see the same value here 5 number dia used here total numbers of steel bars are 8 numbers you can see now come to the 8 stirrups so 3 number dia used in stirrup 3 divided by 8 inches at the dia but its spacing is 4 inches 4 inches center to center you can see here its spacing this is its spacing this this one okay it's 4 inches as I have already discussed in section spacing is 4 inches this one okay here for this spacing is 8 inches here you can see this is 8 inches right now here we have the section a this is specially for this RCC column you can see sorry for camera again it's out of focus right guys you can see this is the section for RCC column now this is one by one fit RCC column you can see here this is one fit okay here are uh, the dia of the stirrup is same you can see uh, not stirrup okay these are ties because this is in column not in plant beam so in plant beam uh, it's called stirrups okay in uh, RCC column it's called ties lateral ties so this is lateral uh, lateral ties the dia of lateral ties is three number three number dia is used same like this one in this it's also used three number sorry this one okay three number dia used in its lateral ties which spacing is five by five inches okay five inches this is five inches its spacing is five inches between two lateral ties okay now here total numbers of steel bars used here five uh, here six numbers you can see one two three four five six numbers are used and size of the rcc column is one by one feet and here longitudinal bar you can see five number dia is used here it's five number dia for longitudinal bars so guys uh, this is steel structure drawing specially for plant beam you can see here typical column detail 12 by 12 inches one feet okay in this section you can also see this clearly okay so if you need its PDF so uh, you can make a screenshot from this easily right so now make a screenshot from this 
if you need its details okay guys so if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye